Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here is an interesting algebra word problem. And what makes this interesting is that we need to understand some basic concepts from statistics, namely uh, these terms right here, median and mean. But let me go ahead and read the problem to you. It says the median of x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. What is the mean? So that is the question. And if you don't know what the median and the mean uh, mean, well, of course, I'm going to explain this all in just one moment. But I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this all on your own. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the right answer in just one second. Then I'm going to fully explain how to do this problem. Also, if you need math help with the uh, course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here's the information. Uh, we need to understand what the mean is, but the question is asking what is the mean given this uh, information right here. So this is the question, what is the mean? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. Okay, so the mean is 22. All right, so what does the mean even mean? Well, I'm gonna explain this all in uh, one moment. But if you get this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, you definitely earned a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%. And multiple stars, so you can tell your friends and family that not only do you know some algebra, that you have a pretty decent grasp on things called the measure of central tendency. Wow, that's a pretty big description. Like, what are you, like, what am I talking about here? The measure of central tendency. Well, in statistics, basic statistics or stats as we call them, there are some uh, measures, right? So let me just kind of state what I'm saying here. Measures of central tendency. Okay, so what does that even mean? Well, let's suppose we have a classroom of students. So here are some uh, students in our lovely classroom. And these students are taking a test, and I have uh, uh, various test results, right? So some students maybe get 60%, unfortunately. Some students might get like 95%. And other students are going to be in between, or maybe some are going to be even higher, some are going to be lower. So I would want to measure the central tendency, okay? Like, hey, you know, I want to kind of have some sort of number that kind of has some sort of representation of what's going on with this particular group of students, right? So what are some of those measures? Well, you can kind of think of uh, one of them being the average, right? Well, what's the average score? And there's others as well, okay? And this is what we're really going to be talking about. And the measures of central tendency, uh, tendency would be the mean median uh, mode would be another. And then we have something called the range. Let's just quickly review these real fast. So the mean is what we're looking for in this particular problem. That's just a fancy word for the average. Okay, so when we're looking at um, the average of something, we are calculating the mean. All right, what is the median? Well, the median is, let me go ahead and just uh, write this out because we're going to need to understand this before we get into the solution. So let's suppose I have uh, four different, uh, five different test scores. Let's say we, or let's just say we have five different pieces of, of data that we want to kind of measure. So let's say if one is uh, uh, five, three, two, and one. So it, in order to calculate the median, okay, well, we actually, I said five, right? Let's use another, let's put four uh, right there. So here's our five pieces of data. So the median is the middle, uh, whatever is the uh, middle number in terms of how many uh, pieces of data you have. Let me just go ahead and write this out. And what we need to do is order our um, data uh, from highest, I'm sorry, from lowest to highest. So here we want to write this as one, two, three, four, five, right? So this can represent anything. But once you have all your um, pieces of data uh, written out from lowest to highest, the middle number right here is the median, right? Sounds like the middle number. Well, that's what it is. So we have two here, two here. So the median of this data set would be three. Now, what happens if we uh, here, we have five pieces of data, 
What happens if we only have four pieces of data? What's the middle number? There is no middle number. So what we have to do is average the two uh, numbers that are closest to the middle. Of course, we have to have everything written from lowest to highest. So the average of two and three would be the median in this particular case. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the mode real quick. Now, sometimes there is a mode, sometimes there isn't. The mode is the uh, uh, piece of data that occurs the most. So let's suppose I have a data set one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so what is showing up here uh, more than the other? One is, okay, so whatever pieces of data uh, may be showing up more frequently, that would be the mode. And then the range would be nothing more uh, than the difference of the hi uh, highest and lowest uh, pieces of data that you have. So this is just a quick crash course on the measurements of central tendency, real basic statistical concepts that all of you out there need to understand. So again, the question here is asking for the mean, okay, which of course is the same thing as the average. And we're uh, being told that we, um, uh, we are talking about the median of this data set. Okay, so the median of these uh, numbers is 24. So how do we solve this problem? Well, you're going to have to break out your basic algebra skills. Not that difficult. Okay, so we are talking about the median. So we're going to want to order uh, this uh, information, okay, our data, from highest to lowest uh, value. So here we have x, 4x, 8x, 9x. We're just, just assume that x is positive and not negative. So if that's the case, we can kind of uh, order these uh, numbers. And of course, we don't know what these are, but these are values from uh, lowest to highest. So here would be x. Of course, 4x is more than x. Of course, 8x is more than 4x, and then 9x is the greatest. So here's lowest to highest. So notice we only have four pieces of data. How do we find the median? Well, it's what I explained to you uh, in, uh, just a moment ago. What we need to do is average the two uh, closest of uh, two uh, pieces of um, data that are closest to the middle. In this case, it's 4x and 8x. All right. So how do we find the average of 4x and 8x? Well, uh, we have two pieces of data, so all we need to do is take 4x and 8x and divide that by two. Now let's go back to the problem here. It says the median of x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. So we know that the actual median is a number, okay? That number is 24. So we can construct the median right here. Of course, we don't know what uh, x is, but we do know that the median is 24. So we can solve for x. So 4x plus 8x uh, divided by two, this is how we would calculate the median. median and the median is equal to 24. So we're going to set up this lovely equation right here and solve it. All right, so 4x plus 8x is what? Well, that's 12x over 2. That's equal to 24. So we're going to solve this. 12x divided by 2 is what? Well, that would be 6x, right? 12 divided by 2. So we got 6x here. So 6x is equal to 24. So let's go ahead and just solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by 6. So 24 divided by 6 would be 4. So x is equal to 4. Okay, so that's like the first part of this problem. But uh, we have a whole nother kind of phase of this problem, right? So we uh, kind of know what x is equal to, but we don't... Um, you know, we're, we don't just kind of celebrate yet because we're not done. We Now we need to figure out the mean, okay, which is what? It's going to be the average of all four of these numbers here. So we're going to actually have to figure out what the actual value of these numbers are. And we could do that because we know what x is equal to, right? So if x is equal to 4, this x right here would be 4. And this one would be 4 times what? 4 times 4 is 16, 8 times 4 is 32, 9 times 4 is 36. So x is equal to 4, and we're, we can calculate the average of the mean, but we first have to get these values. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so x is equal to 4. We're going to plug in 4 for x uh, in each one of those terms right there. So we're going to get 4, 16, 32, and 36. Those are our actual pieces of data. And now to find the average or mean, all we need to do is to um, add up the total of um, our uh, pieces of data here. So 4, 16, 32, and 36. We're going to add up and get that total and divide by how many numbers we have. 
which are one, two, three, four. This is how you find the average. Hopefully, um, kind of assuming that you understand how to find the average. But if you need um, help with basic statistics and whatnot, check out any one of my uh, pre-algebra or algebra one courses, uh, or even algebra two courses. It all depends on what level of statistics you are in. I go over all this stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and just finish this problem up. So four plus 16 plus 32, plus 36 is 88, 88 divided by uh, four is 22. So that would be the mean or the average. Okay, so again, we use some basic algebra, you know, nothing too scary here, but the main idea really is to understand these terms and have a really a, a strong grasp on measures of central tendency, right? The mean, median, mode range, this is extremely important not only in mathematics, but in kind of everyday life, right? If you read the newspaper or, you know, read uh, the news, especially like economic news, they're always talking about the median. It's, I always kind of wonder how many people out there actually understand. Like, for example, uh, uh, this is pretty common when they're talking about real estate prices. They'll, they'll, they'll say something like, or an article would say something like, the median home price in Austin, Texas, or the median home price in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada is X, Y, Z. They're specifically saying the median, okay, which is indicating that uh, half of the home prices, here's the median, half is lower than what they're indicating, and half of the homes out there are higher than that price. And I oftentimes wonder, I say, how many people are confusing that concept with the mean or average? Because average is a completely different ball game. And when you study statistics, you'll see why the average is not necessarily the best uh, unit uh, or the best way to measure things. It's good, but we want to have more color to understand all these tendencies. So, you know, things like economics or any kind of line of work, the more you know about basic, uh, basic statistics, the better off you will be. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.